Hey everyone, another short video, just a quick one-off to demonstrate an ability that you might want to have a character have in your game, and that is ability to become immaterial and to, uh, say, walk through a wall. There's probably other applications for this, but one of the reasons why I decided to do this with something that may seem so obscure is it shows the versatility of the get component statement. That's really the go-to statement when you have to make a change in real time. So let's take a look. So what we're going to do, we'll get rid of that. I was just testing some stuff. So two objects, or I should say two assets. There's, they're not really objects yet. So we'll drag in the character. And we're going to add component, physics 2D, and a rigid body 2D. That way gravity is affected. We're going to give some linear drag so they don't fall too quickly. And then we're also going to add another physics 2D box collider. That we're going to trim because it's just too big. Okay. So there's our character. We're now going to take this, create a platform. platform likewise will have box collider and we'll create one more and this will be a vertical wall This two will have box collider. Now, as you notice, the playable character is not a trigger. The platform is not a trigger, and the wall is not a trigger. They're all solid. That way, they collide. They stop each other. Give an example. We'll put the character up in the air, and we'll watch her drop. See, she stops. So she can't pass through solid objects because none of them are triggers. So what we're going to do is we're going to change that on the fly. So we're going to, let's lower her a bit. We're going to add a component, a new script. And let's just call this ghost control. Now, like I've been doing lately, I've already written the script ahead of time, but I'm going to walk through it step by step, so don't freak out when you see me uh, copy and paste from the text file. I'll go through every bit of it. So let's open up Ghost Control. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a key code. This is going to give us the ability to make a change with input. In this case, we're only going to do one key code uh, to handle the horizontal and uh, the horizontal movement. We're just going to give it velocity. This is to trigger, as the the uh, variable would suggest, to make them immaterial. So we'll just go back here. That shows up, and we'll use the spacebar. Next, the sole purpose of this statement is just to give them forward momentum. So they're going to move up against the wall. So get component, rigid body 2D, velocity, and it's a vector 3. So x, y, z. We don't want to do anything to y. We don't want to do anything to z. Just x, just horizontal. So let's see that in action. can see she's moving horizontally and she stops when she gets to the wall because all objects are solid. Okay, 
So if open parenthesis input dot get key down open parenthesis immaterial close parenthesis close parenthesis. So this is clearly this. It's checking to see if this has occurred. And we defined it over here as hitting the space key. So if the space key has been hit, specifically pressed down, we're going to do a couple things. First, get component rigid body 2D gravity scale 0. So this is the first thing I want to point out. When you create an object and you add a rigid body, it defaults to a gravity scale. And very often you'll see people change that at the beginning when they're creating, okay, how much gravity should apply. What I'm demonstrating here is you can actually change that in real time using get component. So we're going to set the gravity scale to zero. Why? That way she doesn't fall through the floor. That way um, she, you don't want gravity to affect her. Get component, box collider 2D. Something that I don't think I've done in any of my other videos is making a change to the box collider. Is trigger true? Also, at the beginning of the video, you see people toggle this. Is true or not true? Well, you're not married to that decision. You can change it in real time in code. So, uh, is trigger true? So, this is what I was getting at. Someone's standing on top of the ladder. You don't want them to fall through it. So, um, the, it's, they're not a trigger. But then when, say, they hit the down key, so they climb down the ladder, now you do want them to be a trigger, so they pass through it. That's one way to do it. Not the only way, that's one. And then the final one is get component sprite renderer color. This functionally doesn't do anything other than make them transparent. So this is purely a visual uh, flourish. It doesn't actually uh, help with the... the, the uh, the performing of the of making them immaterial. This is just a visual uh, indication to the player, and I'd, I'd definitely recommend something like that because you don't want the character to still look solid. So you could uh, make them transparent, or maybe you're going to add like a particle system that shows when they're passing through a wall. So quick recap: the rigid body, uh, 2D gravity scale is set to zero, so gravity is no longer affecting them. That way, they don't fall through the floor. Box Collider 2D, Trigger is changed to True rather than False, and then Get Component Sprite Renderer, we change the color just for a visual flourish. So that's it, it's that simple. And now we save this, and watch what happens. Thunk, she hits the wall because they're all solid, but hit the Space key, and now she passes through it. So that easy. That's how you can make a character become immaterial. Um, as you can see, that's one option, passing through uh, solid objects, or maybe you want to make them invincible, um, and that way collisions are no longer occurring. So uh, different applications for that. So that's about it for this one.